Doctors are hopeful that a groundbreaking new device can change cancer therapy as we know it. There are only eight of these devices in the entire world, and one of them is being used right now in Orange County. NBC4's Hedy Chang has an exclusive look at this new technology and how it can help, especially younger cancer patients. I was an active bike, bicyclist, road rider. When he turned 50, Michael Ferris was at the prime of his life, or so he thought. I'd ride you know, at least 100 miles a week, three or four days a week. After celebrating his birthday in Mammoth with his partner Stephanie, the Ladera Ranch father of three scheduled a routine exam. Time to schedule my 50-year-old colonoscopy. The result was not anything Ferris could have imagined. During the procedure, they found um, what they suspected was a tumor, a cancerous tumor, and then subsequent CT scan found out that it had metastasized fairly aggressively to the liver. This is Michael's liver. 90% of it is covered with tumors. He had no cancer in his family and had little to no symptoms. So, you know, that hit me like a ton of bricks in my family. And I have three sons, ages uh, 16 to 21. So, uh, yeah, I know it's a lot to go through. In the last few years, we're seeing metastatic cancer in younger patients, in, even in their 30s, early 40s. And the screening does not start till age 45. Dr. Ahmad Abbas is one of Ferris' specialists at Providence Mission Hospital in Mission Viejo. In his case, he had multiple areas of the liver that really made surgery uh, not feasible. Chemotherapy did help to prevent any new tumors from forming, but it was just several weeks ago that Ferris was treated with this, a Histosonics Edison system, a new device that essentially blasts tumor cells. Because doctors could not operate, they thought Ferris could be a good candidate for the new technology. They basically get pulverized. It's basically mechanical force that's disrupting all the cells. And think about all the cells just liquefying or exploding. You could think about it similar to maybe lithotripsy on a kidney stone or something like that. The machine at Leonard Cancer Institute at Mission Hospital is only one of eight in the entire world. Ferris is one of the first patients to receive the treatment on one of his tumors. Doctors hope to see that tumor shrink. They're also hoping the technology helps to treat his many other tumors. And the body can learn how to kill the tumor and that can cause uh, tumor regression or shrinking of tumors outside of the liver or tumors that are not even treated. This is kind of the holy grail of cancer therapy. Ferris knows his cancer therapy is part of a long journey. He is urging everyone to get screened for colon cancer early. My hope for myself is, you know, just uh, live as long as I can and enjoy my sons, you know. Um, eventually it'll probably catch up to me, but in the meantime I feel good and just want to, you know, Days are long, time is short, you know, I want to just enjoy every day. In Mission Viejo, Hetty Chang, NBC4 News. Mm.